said, oh, that's going to wipe out all of the jobs. No one will ever recover. This is history. Look it up. 1940s, 1950s. Fact. They said this over. The argument's already old. And the answer is, yes, some jobs did end. No one makes buggy whips. The last guy making buggy whips was probably the absolute best. But no one makes buggy whips anymore. But we make different stuff. Um, oh, the fiber optics glass company. Yeah. Fiber. As I remember the name. Fiberware. They used to make skillets out of ceramic glass. And they were losing in the business. People thought they were going to go out of business. This is back in the 90s. Then they decided, hey, you know, this thing, fiber optics, you're shooting a laser through glass tubes. It's going to be, you know, let's expand that. Someone had a neat idea out of MIT. Yeah, we can do this. It'll make more information available for people. But we got to redo all the lines. But you can't use a rubber line. You can't use a metal line. You need something <coughs> more transparent. Barbara Ware said, hey, we got it. We got the glass. Let's do it. Everyone stopped making the pots and pans they were known for. They made tubes. The company makes more money now than they've ever made before. They don't do what they used to do. They've changed. Are they automated? So they have more people working today than they had in the 90s. They make more money today than they did in the 90s. They've changed. When someone tells you, you're never going to be able to work, I have to protect you, that's fear. The same fear that goes into saying, you're going to die because of a vape. You're going to die because of a gun. You're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die unless you do what I say, unless you give up your freedom. And every time someone tells you that, that is a trap. They are lying to you. They are wrong. The more they do that, the more they're taking you down a bad path. Every time. I don't care whether it's Republican, conservative, libertarian, Democrat, progressive, socialist. If they're saying, you don't need that freedom. You just need to do what I say, or else. Then you absolutely need that freedom, and you should never trust that person. We've covered a lot of ground here today. And I hope everyone's, oh, give me two seconds. I hope, I mean, I'm not saying all I'm done. I'm just saying, because I love talking. I love talking to you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know I throw out a lot of information. Think about it. <coughs> if you come up with questions, critiques, hit me with it at any time. Don't forget, I'm still looking. Because you guys are going to have the answers. You guys are the future. I want you to have that freedom. Uh, let me go to you first, and then I'll go to you. How are they going to stop these big tech companies from censoring opposing views that aren't black? I am fighting that every day. I've been on the major top issues that I love to tackle First Amendment, Second Amendment, Tenth Amendment, individual choice and freedom. Those are Big ones. And the First Amendment is a massive one. Because if you don't have the right to say something, to be able to speak and communicate, everything else breaks down. You can't have scientific advancement. You can't have anything if you can't communicate. And that communication should be free. I believe that Facebook, Google, Twitter, all social media, all of the internet right now is designed and controlled against your best interests. Because there is a small group of people who are deciding what you see, what you can say, and who can see it. And the worst thing is called shadow banning. Does anyone know what that is? Okay, for everyone else, shadow banning is you get to write your tweet. You get to make your Facebook post. And you think it's out on the internet, except the algorithms that are built in, you will never be seen by anyone in life. You probably won't even be able to find your own post if you didn't go directly to it. 
because they hide. But they can say, it's out there. You just need to jump through four or five hoops to see where we hid it. But it's free, it's out there. These companies are very short-sighted. I am a near absolutist when it comes to the free speech, which means I believe you should be able to say anything about everything except inciting violence or absolutely declaring something that is an absolute lie, something that is not factual. I cannot tell you, and I should not be able to get on to any social media out in the public and say, the moon is green cheese. That is a lie. Unless you can factually show me that the moon is green cheese, that is a lie. You know it is knowingly a lie. You should not be able to say that. I should not, no one should be able to incite a riot. No one should be able to say, like Al Sharpton has done, as many people have done, to say, go attack this group. Down with these people. Antifa's tactics. No one should be able to say that publicly, or in Proud Boys or any other. I don't care who they are. So, with that, with that exception, any company that has promised, as part of its market, that it allows you to have freedom and then denies it, should be penalized. Not the government taking it over, because that's even worse. But they should be penalized. Because their goal, they're saying, you're free. You can say whatever you want. Great. Then when I say whatever I want, leave it alone. Don't hide it. Don't move it. Don't ban me. Leave it be. Unless I break those two conditions. <coughs> if I'm inciting violence, or I'm very deliberately saying something that's not true. Then I can understand that. So is that... And the only way to combat that is all of you getting up and saying, hey, stop this. Or someone will create the next new thing, because it was before it was Facebook, it was MySpace. Before that, it was AOL. Someone will make the next new thing. When they do, they're going to go out of business, and they should. Because they're not taking care of the promises they're making. So he was, yeah, he's I was wondering what you thought about the universal background check bill next. Universal background checks? Yeah. Useless. We already have it. And I say it's useless because we already have these laws. Does anyone know where Islamburg is? Islamburg, New York. Just a couple hours away. In Islamburg, New York, four Boy Scouts decided that they wanted to blow up the Muslim community. Did you know that since 1934, it is absolutely illegal to make a bomb? Period. You can't get a license for it. You can't get authorization for it. You can't make a bomb. They did. They were making bombs that were going to go out and kill people. They told one of their friends about it. Their friend went to the police. The police actually started an investigation, found out it was true, and arrested the kids. They'd been convicted. This is before there was a red flag law. It has nothing to do with the safe act. The laws exist already. Background checks wouldn't work. All you need is the government to follow through with the laws that exist. We already have the laws there. Follow them to the full force of the law, and you're OK. That's all we need to do. I don't need a hate crime for murder. We already have a law for that. It's called murder. I don't need a law for burglary. We have one. It's burglary. Why are you making another condition? Why are you making another law? Because someone wants to, every time they make a new law, they take a new right. Well, quick question, I know. Okay. Quick question. It's a yes or no. Does, uh, does the Constitution give the government, well, actually, it's not a yes or no, does, it, does the Constitution give the government or you rights. Just out loud, shout oh, yes. You. Huh? Louder, guys. OK. And everyone else is not sure. That terrified me. Got to read the Constitution, guys. 
No, no, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing, because in fact, probably 75% of all Americans have no idea whatsoever. They wouldn't even guess at it. And they're afraid of saying, oh, wrong answer. The answer is, the Constitution does neither. The Constitution says, this is what the government can't do. It doesn't give you rights because you already have them. It doesn't give the government rights because the government has none. What it affirms is, this is what the government cannot do unless the people say so. So every time we allow a law, when red flag laws, when uh, the New York Safe Act, when vaping is banned, when we allow those laws to go in place, when we allow Governor Cuomo to act like a dictator and say, I'm now banning this, we've just given our power to the government and as long as we don't object to that and stop it, they now have a new power. And you just lost the power. That's why I don't have to have, there are no rules that say, well, you can do this on Tuesdays and that on Wednesdays. You can do this in this case or that. Look at the 10th Amendment. All the power, everything not noted, lies with the people and the state. Or the state and the people, excuse me. It's it. It's all ours. The government can't do things until we say, do this. And the Constitution doesn't say, oh, you can just do this. It says you can do everything. They are inalienable and indivisible, inseparable, shall not be infringed. These are absolutes. These are your absolute rights. Nothing stops them until you make a choice to give them. And at that point, name a right that the government has given back to the people. Ever. It doesn't. No government ever has. No other government will. That's not what their purpose is. So that's important. You have more. I do have a question, yeah. Um, it's interesting. I do kind of divide from you a little bit on, on social media thing, which I, I surprise people. Um, I like people to yeah. disagree with me. Because I, I'm not 100 percent right. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I go between. Yes, they tell you that you can say things, but whether there's a place that actually says the community guidelines are also there, because they are independent companies, mm -hmm. um, and to me, if they do say that you need to follow those guidelines, it could be like a forum that's you know kind of held within the company. I understand the argument, and yeah. it's true. If Facebook says, here is our guideline, you can't say orange. If I accept that, that's their rule, okay, I'm fine with that. If Facebook as a private company says, you are afraid to say everything you want except orange, and I say can, and I get the same punishment as if I said orange, there's my problem. All right. When we suddenly shift the rules, and we have an undefined, and if they say, oh, yeah, you can do anything you want except mention a color, this specific color. What color? Oh, we'll tell you later. When you break the rule, we'll tell you. Okay. I have a problem with that. That's the situation we're in right now. What's the rule? I have no idea. Today is shifting from tomorrow, from last week. There is no consistency, and this guy is deciding based on how you look, how I look, how you look, that the rules apply this way. And we have actively heard them say this. They have gone to Congress. A lot of people don't realize this. Twitter, Google, Facebook have been consistently in front of congressional hearings. They have admitted in these congressional hearings they are actively creating algorithms that hide and um, shadow ban and completely obliterate people including members of Congress, because they don't like what they're saying against their own rules. Facebook literally has a group that goes through and decides black kids are more important than white kids, and you know gay people are more important than straight people, and transgender are above them all in what they can say and how they can break the rules. That's not me making this up. 
they had the meeting 2017 in front of the Senate. They said this. This is their testimony. I have a problem with that. Not because I don't like transgender, gay, I don't care. Your life, you're not harming me, do whatever you want. Good, bad, I don't care. But I do have a problem when someone else, a third party, comes in and says, you're perfectly free. Go and put them in a cage. Now I got a problem. And you should too. Do I sound aggravated about that? Absolutely. You should be twice as livid. Because it's going to affect you more. And you're being told and treated and conditioned to never question that. That's a problem. What are we on time? Mm -hmm. I know we, We're pretty much done. I was going to say, that. like, if anyone else has questions, I wanted to do an official thing. You know, no. Yeah, come on. We'll do that. Michael, By the way, I thank you guys. I know a couple of you guys have to go, but I love that. Did everyone else have fun? Yeah. Okay. He'll be around for as late as I am because I'm his Uber driver tonight.